हेलो एवरीवन सो दिस इज श्रुति अवजा एंड आई एम बैक विद द टॉपिक ऑफ फिजियोलॉजी एग्जाम आंसर राइटिंग टिप्स एंड व्हाट आर सम एक्स्ट्रा टिप्स यू कैन फॉलो एंड सर्वाइव इन एमबीबीएस फर्स्ट ईयर एट लार्ज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ड्राइंग फ्लो चार्ट डायग्राम एंड ग्राफ दिस इज ओनली द वी कैन से द गोल्डन वर्ड्स एंड गोल्डन लाइन विच कैन हेल्प यू इन फिजियोलॉजी ओके सो फ्लो चार्ट it is advisable that do not write any paragraph in exam that will save your time time and your efforts and your uh, basically marks as well okay so clinical correlation write wherever possible and always uh, like uh, you can draw a box around it you can draw a cloud around it uh, or whatever you like and to highlight what you want to emphasize on and what you don't know exactly do not write because that is a negative point okay next is um, now clinical correlation for example in neuromuscular junction i hope nmp is coming in term one exams but in neuromuscular junction we can uh, see there are many drugs like hemicolinium we can we are having bodylum toxin etc so these all are present in the marrow roots you can refer to that if you if we can't find in um, other books right next is graphs graphs and diagrams these you need to follow from guyton any guyton graph diagram can be asked and separately diagram questions are also asked sometimes uh, as a five mark question right next is right answers in begin writing these are some general tips and don't waste your time on one answer uh, try to uh, focus on like multiple rather than one question right now in spotters uh, you get basically some practicals which you can't perform and which are only theoretical are kept in the spotters so as a practical tip uh, for the spotters prepare beforehand and um, i hope you must have done that mammalian studies Uh, that a uh, frog heart the graphs the muscle uh, the twitch and everything fatigue graph so those graphs are also asked in spotters and like for example the osmotic fragility test and they can also as as a sub question what is the clinical condition in which it is increased decreased and physiological cause of increase or decrease in um, like they will ask you about wbcs the neutrophils um, the neutrophil like what is the physiological and pathological cause of neutrophilia neutropenia and uh, they can keep you uh, like keep for you a slide uh, of new, like in which neutrophil is pointed and they can ask what is the cell so if you have time right now you can just uh, like practice some of the like how do they look and you can uh, make out some differences how can you identify in your college slides about the wbcs right um, and uh, other than these things in practicals you are asked about uh, basically uh, if there is a cook arnet count or uh, i mean a dlc is there or wbc count is there then uh, they can also ask you the normal physiology part so study blood very well for your practicals if it is coming in term in final you have to study but if it is coming in turn term then you need to study this chapter because most of the questions are answered right away here and also learn the normal values the normal ranges and what uh, in what conditions there is increase and in what conditions there is decrease of the values like in which condition it is a rightward shift or leftward shift in cocarnet count i'm just giving you some examples right and uh, what is the pathological cause physiological cause um and as a last tip i am telling you that when you draw a peripheral smear ensure that it is tongue shaped and um, tongue shaped and ensure that which uh, like the rbc uh, the basically the dlc and which one has to be seen from which end like tail end or head end or the body in pro, in which uh, like uh, basically the view you have to see it if this is uh, your head end and this is the tail you have to see the slide here or here you need to ensure that thing also and while drawing the smear uh, you can be asked like um, how to make a good smear 
so that practical is also important you can study all these things from the practical manual uh, gk pal or whichever you have everything is given right there so these questions uh, hold much importance so in practical you are having spotter and this peripheral smear and this much only and in theory i have already told you flow chart diagram and graphs this will uh, basically make you exam ready for physiology mbbs first year